week. And it looks like we may have an answer coming in here from Imants. Imants coming in with the answer uh, 1175. 1175. Just making sure I'm reading that correctly. And this is not correct. Not oh. correct. So that's and, one, uh, one. And Dusty's pretty close. So it's we still got a match here. Yeah, we may have opened up the door there for Dusty. So, so guys, here we go. This very first CAD battle of our 2024 Spring Open CAD vs. CAD tournament begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? The tolerance is plus or minus one gram. The material is MMGS, or sorry, units. The material is 1060 alloy. This is a tier four complexity part. And uh, you guys can see that the, what's happening right now is our runners are grabbing a screen capture of this 2D print, and they are attempting to jump into their CAD system of choice to turn this into a 3D model. I'm going to flip over to the CAD vs. CAD battle screen, and we're going to see how it is done. On the left, we got Imants running on shape. Looks like he's starting out with kind of a layout type view, looking at this thing from the top down. If you guys want a screen capture of that part, roll back the video, screen capture that window, and then start uh go, go back to the live feed or i was just thinking while i was saying that if you wanted to you could log into youtube as a second account bring it up on that second account hit the like button hit subscribe you know leave that up on your second screen that's all good too that way you can watch that print imans is drawing this thing from the top down imans finished yeah i like uh i like imans is taking the approach that i would take i mean you've got a lot of info in that top view and so you could basically just draw all of that or you know most of that and then use your uh front view and side view for you know the the end conditions of your uh of your features for sure yeah great a great approach getting in there and getting things kind of laid out using that uh uh you know that capability in on shape on shape really makes it easy to use and reuse the same sketch uh and, yeah and so uh, he's really kind of taking advantage of the tool that he's working with right do they do, i know they call it contour selection in solidworks do they call that I, they probably have some other name for it in on shape huh yeah i don't know what the official name is i just know that when you go into the extrude command you can choose those different regions but dusty techno is close behind you know that this is uh yeah he is this is a very close match we got dusty techno already getting in there getting into that second feature using solidworks over on the right to create that second feature. And it looks like he's doing more of a feature by feature approach. And this is more the approach that I would take. So you're saying you would take the approach more like Imans is taking. I think I would probably take more the approach like Dusty Techno is taking. Okay. I like the feature by feature approach. Yeah. Will in the chat saying, good luck Imans. Good luck Dusty Techno. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, and Amon said the first part, you know, as an extrude, but it looks like he's going to do some of these cylinders as a, as a revolve now. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was interesting too. He kind of re-examined that print from the side and decided, you know, maybe this makes sense to do, do a little bit more of a revolve. It's kind of interesting. Amon's uh, view got, there looks a little. He's got separate bodies now too. Amon does, which right. That's that's nice that on shape uh, color codes your bodies automatically like that. Or is yeah. it's a little harder to tell that you've got separate bodies in uh, in SolidWorks unless you go to the Solid Bodies folder. Yeah, that's a great point too. And Imans is uh, uh, on the left. You know, like you said, he's kind of working on that upper section that's got the little little key sticking out of it. Uh, and Dusty Techno, you can see here how quickly he was able to just kind of by taking a different approach, he's catching right up. He's basically right on that same section. Yeah. And we got some people in the chat. Will in the chat saying, I got it. Dom in the chat saying, I got it. These guys are going to be in the Ooh. tournament a little bit later. So very, very cool. Gary Bruce in the chat saying 22. Very nice. It was not 22, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I like it, though. I like this answer. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alex in the chat. We're going to see him a little bit later today saying, I got it. <laughs> so, yeah, I love the way uh, on the on the left we've got uh on shape kind of going through building up that feature tree up top you can see but then down below at the bottom you can see that like like you mentioned earlier chris he's got two different parts in this one single part studio 
So yeah. it kind of makes it easy for you to keep track. And that's how you would do multi-body design if you were working, you know, in Onshape, if you were building almost an entire assembly that was all built together, that might be one way to approach it in Onshape would be to use multiple bodies, uh, mul multiple parts really in that part studio. Yeah. You just got to remember that if those uh, bodies are overlapping, it's going to count that mass twice. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where we just saw a moment ago he was able to go in and do a Boolean approach. Yeah, and yeah, now, it looks like he did that already. And now it looks like he's opting to use a hole instead of just doing that as a cut extrude. So we'll see if that costs him time uh, in the end or if that ends up being a good strategy. Oh, and now he's doing that that cut, that uh, you know, that slot at the top of the yep. part. And meanwhile, we got Dusty Techno on the right doing... Uh, you know, like, like I mentioned before, this is really the approach that I would prefer to take, which would be kind of like a feature by feature approach. Uh, just kind of going through, you know, one feature at a time and making sure you have all your sketches fully defined. And that's really the approach that I would normally take. And it looks like we may have an answer coming in here from Imants. Imants coming in with the answer, uh, 1175, 1175, just making sure I'm reading that correctly. And this is not correct, not oh. correct. So that's and, one, uh, one. And Dusty's pretty close, so it's we still got a match here. Yeah, we may have opened up the door there for Dusty. So Imant's coming in one one seven five. That is not correct. So we're gonna uh, give, get like I said, we may be kind of opening the door here for Dusty, and Imant's coming in with a second answer, and the second answer that Imant has come in with here is one. 344.6 or 1345. That is not correct. Oh. Oh. Right, so so I'm the, sorry. Did the timer go on now? I'm sorry, Imants, but you may no longer answer for this match. You have to just kind of sit out, and we're going to bring up the, the Clock of Doom, as it is called. I remember during the live event, they were chanting for the Clock of Doom. So we're going to put a Clock of Doom here on Dusty. This is going to give Dusty five minutes to answer correctly. If Dusty can answer this correctly, he will earn the point. If he cannot answer correctly, then uh, then no one will earn the point, and it'll be our first push. Uh, but the clock of doom is coming up here. Yep. And Mr. Alex is asking for the timer. You got it. And Dusty's doing a spin. I think he's just trying to make sure he's got all, you know, hasn't missed anything before he uh, burns one of his answers. Yep, yep. That sounds like a, a good strategy. We call that the final spin. So Dusty yeah. can answer one time incorrect. He can still burn off an in incorrect answer. So he he does have that flexibility. Oh, and it is very different from the answers that uh, that Amans was giving. Yes. Yep. At least what he's showing on in his material properties right now, mass properties. So Dusty Techno comes in with the answer seven seven one grams. That is not correct. Ooh. That is not correct. So this is truly the clock of doom now. Now it's going to be up to Dusty <clears throat> Techno to go back through that 2D print, to look at all his features, and to see whether or not he missed a feature. John, he's, John. He's got plenty of time. I think he, I mean, he's got everything there. So I think it's just a matter of him going through it and double checking those dimensions and adjusting as needed. Yep. Jern wow. in the chat is saying, take your time, Dusty. Yeah. Okay, we're going to make sure that we don't answer in the chat. This is a message to Marius. Uh, make sure Marius don't answer in the chat, please. We're going to we're gonna let let our runners uh, be the stars today. Yep, I got it. Maybe a newer user. We're going to make sure that we give these guys a, ch a fair chance to answer. All right. So we see here now, the Clock of Doom is up three minutes. He's used his one free answer. Looks like he's going into some uh, MVD there. <laughs> some Dim Expert. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Trying to use some super advanced functionality there in SolidWorks. And so this is uh, this is the challenge. This is where the pressure really kicks in. I'm sure that a lot of our runners are, are uh, you know, are thinking about, you know, I've been there before. I've been in this spot before. I love all the, the chat, all the information from the chat. Uh, just breathe. Gary says, just breathe. You have more than enough time. Take it easy. Mr. Alex says, big pressure. Hurry up. <laughs> See, and, and now um, now Dusty's doing what, what I would do. I, I so wanted to suggest that, so I'm glad that he's 
doing it so I didn't have to say it, but uh, just going feature by feature and checking those dimensions against what's in the drawing. Yep. There's often some kind of tricky, weird dimensions in the drawing that that maybe would make it a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit weird. We got no. Eternal. Well, he's gonna add some. Uh, he's gonna add some tolerances to it. Maybe. Yeah, I like that. Maybe that's what it needs. Some, uh... <laughs> get 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 this thing inspected. Yeah, this might lend itself to a cylindricity tolerance. Yep, I was I was just GD thinking that same thing. So we got Eternal in the chat. Eternal is uh, an admin on the OnShape Discord. If you guys want to check that out, uh, the OnShape Discord will... I've got some links to that in some of my other videos, uh, so you guys can check that out from those links uh, from the live streams and some of the other videos. But great to see you in here. Thanks for joining us today. Procky in the chat says, this one is a head scratcher. Well, we got 70 seconds left. Oh, I, I, I saw something while he was measuring. Oh. Let's let's not tip these guys off, okay? Yeah, I know. Keep it fair. Only Mr. Alex says only runners understand this pressure when against you you eyes only white blank. Yeah. Yeah, totally agree. All right, we got 40 seconds left. You do want to, if you ever find yourself in this spot where you're running down the clock of doom, you do want to account for a little bit of extra time for the lag. Uh, the timeout is going to occur basically when it times out for me. Uh, so there is going to be a little bit of a lag buffer there. So just keep that in mind. But if you're going to be revising your answer, this is the time to do it. 15 seconds. Okay, is he going to come in with an answer? Or is this one going to be a push? Let's see here. Three, two, he does come in with an answer. 752 grams. And that is correct. Whoa. Wow. 753 plus or minus one gram. Wow. Holy cow. Wow. wow. Nice job to Dusty Techno. My goodness. Wow. At the buzzer. Right at the buzzer. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> nice work. Man, great job.